Besides collaboration, problem solving, and project management, there are a plethora of duties of civil site engineers. Your role in any project is critical for the overall success of the project. Whether you're looking to assume a role as a civil site engineer or want to be one in your project, here are some duties, roles, and responsibilities you should prepare yourself for. Hi there, it's me Saad from IamCivilEngineer.com and in our today's amazing episode on Career Guide, we'll look at some of the roles and responsibilities of a civil site engineer. I've been working as a civil site engineer for about seven years and I've tried to summarize every aspect of being a site engineer along with must-have skills. You know what, being a civil site engineer is a challenging yet rewarding career. If you love getting your hands dirty at site and want to enjoy the feeling of creating something with your own hands, civil site engineer will be a fascinating career for you. I'll take my example as I always use to get fascinated by bridges taking tons of loading spanning meters of clear space. So, I decided to be a civil site engineer and thus want to be able to say that this bridge is literally constructed by me. Now as you're motivated, let's jump in to know some roles and responsibilities of civil site engineer. I'll start off with interpretation of drawing. Well, there's a reason why I've put drawings or blueprints at the top of my list. You know what civil engineers communicate in terms of drawings. You can't survive at site without the skill to interpret drawings. That's all I can say. To your knowledge, I must say civil engineering drawings include architectural drawings, structural drawings, and mechanical and electrical. So, you need to be able to find information on the drawings, get them in use at site, and check the site for coherence with the drawings. The next on my list is planning technical activities and supervising labor. When you're at the site, you're the in charge. Yeah, you got to handle all the site activities, be it excavation, brick masonry, concrete pouring, rebar fixing, or whatever. Whoa, you need to deal with all the labors working and delegate tasks and activities, but you've got to plan and schedule all such activities beforehand. Now let's see a bit about reporting and scheduling because that's a must-have skill for you. Civil engineering projects are complex. I know you already know that. But you know what, the most challenging aspect is to make a foolproof plan and stick with that plan. Plus, you got to track your activities as per plan and report the same to the management about progress. Let's now judge some of your tracking skills. What? Yeah. I mean the ability to keep track of the equipment and machinery. Besides, tracking labor. You got to know every piece of equipment in hand along with the machinery available for work. A civil site engineer is responsible to allocate sufficient resources in terms of machinery and labor to a certain task. The purpose of that allocation should be to accomplish a task well in time. Yeah, you've got to pretty smart in terms of remembering things in your mind. Watch out! The next is health safety and environment. Being in charge of site, you're responsible for the health and safety of labor and everyone working at site. Their life is on your hand. What? Yeah. You need to delegate responsibilities to health and safety monitors to look after all the activities to avoid risky maneuvers. Be sure everyone has their personal protective equipment engaged. Have you decided to subscribe to my YouTube channel? Yes. Go ahead because that'll help us reach out to more smart people like you. I was just joking. Because the next on my list is decision making, while working at site, you'll face number of complex scenarios where you need to make challenging decisions. For example, sometimes the implementation of design is impossible or is too difficult, so you've got to come up with a feasible solution that also seems feasible to the designer. So, it is an important skill that you're able to analyze different scenarios and come up with a prompt decisions. Quality matters in everything. That's why the next skill is quality control. In order for the project to run smoothly, quality control is an important aspect. Although the consultants inspect and check all the quality control parameters, but being a site engineer, you've got to comply with specifications, drawings, and other project documents. 
so it is critical that you fully understand the project specifications. At least study the specs before commencing any new activity. I'm proud of my communication skills. But what about you? I know you're good too. Anyways, the last important skill for civil engineer on my list is communication and leadership duties. Site engineer gets information from higher level and delivers it to subworker or laborers for carrying out work according to requirement. So he must be efficient to coordinate between higher class and subworker. He has to get information carefully from his senior, understand it keenly and deliver it to subworker. It is his efficiency that how he communicates this work to his subworker and use his leadership qualities to get work from subworkers. So you see if you truly want to be a civil engineer, the best job role is civil site engineer. It's where all your technical expertise comes handy and there are rewards too. After spending, like say around seven or more years, you'll be eligible to be a project manager or at least a project engineer that are bit expert roles in a project. That's all about our today's episode. If you've loved it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our amazing channel. I know you're amazing and you'll share it with other civil engineering fellows. We'll be back soon with some other amazing stuff on civil engineering. Good luck!